Hey friends, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, I'm Angie and I enjoy sharing different projects we have going on around our home. A few weeks ago, I asked on our community page what kind of content you would enjoy seeing. One of the responses was, how about sharing a day in the life and wonderful recipes? So I thought it would be fun to take you along with me today and just share a little bit of how my day goes during the week. So welcome to this week's video which is a day in the life of a homemaker. One of the first things that I do in the morning is I unload the dishwasher from the night before and this way I have an empty dishwasher to load all of the breakfast dishes and then load the dishes throughout the day so that we don't have a sink full of dirty dishes. This also makes it easier after dinner when you can just load up the dinner dishes and everything is already in there and then you just start it for the evening. I'm also going to add some spring touches to this kitchen today so I'm giving everything a really deep clean. I like to deep clean before I decorate for every season and so this is the perfect day to clean up this kitchen. And since my last video I should tell you happy spring because we just passed the first day of spring which I'm so excited about. I'm excited to get out in the yard and start planting, but that will not be until April after our last frost. So I'm just doing some projects inside today and just springifying it, if that's a word, the inside of the house so that it will be a little bit more festive and I'm just ready for the spring season and all the bunnies and just all the beautiful spring touches. So I'm just cleaning this little pedestal that I have by the sink and I keep our decorations in the kitchen very minimal and most of the decor that I use in the kitchen are things that I use every day. But the kitchen island is where I decorate and add all of the fluff. So I'll show you that in a minute. So I keep this pedestal by the sink and it holds our hand soap and I found this cute container at Hobby Lobby and I just put our scrub brush in there. And I also put dish soap in this little thrifted container that I found recently. And then over by the stove, I keep my wooden spoons, salt and pepper shaker, and then I keep my measuring spoons and I stack them up on this little wooden riser. And this little setup keeps me organized right here by the stove while I'm cooking meals. And then over on this counter, I had this marble riser and I put apothecary jars with candy in it. But I'm just going to clean it up really well and clean off this counter. I don't know what I'm going to put in its place. I may just leave it empty. It's right here by the light switch when you come in the door. And so you don't want anything in the way here. So for right now, I'm just going to leave this space empty and just use it for a prep station for cooking. Now I'm going to clean my microwave and let me share this wonderful recipe with you that I found. It is a game changer when you're cleaning your microwave from all that gunky grease. So you add two cups of water and then you want to add two tablespoons of white distilled vinegar. This concoction of vinegar and water will clean your microwave like a dream. But I clean with vinegar a lot because I just love how it disinfects everything. And it's a pretty inexpensive cleaner, so I do keep distilled vinegar around the home. Vinegar also doesn't have all the toxins, and it's safe to use around kids and animals. You just put your vinegar water in the microwave for five minutes and just let it run. And then after the five minutes, leave your vinegar and water in the microwave and let it cool. I let my cleaner stay in the microwave after the timer goes off at least 15 minutes so that it has a chance to cool and the steam can continue loosening up all of the grease. And then I remove the turntable inside the microwave and I just scrub it really well. Before adding the turntable back into the microwave, wipe down the inside of your microwave and just watch everything come out so easily and your microwave looks like new. I encourage you to try this if you haven't and it just makes everything sparkly clean which makes me so happy. I absolutely love a clean home and a clean microwave. So then I just wipe down the dishwasher, clean that up really well. And then I had this rug here for the fall and winter season 
it's just a darker rug and it brings in more warmth but I'm gonna vacuum it really well and I'm gonna bring in a lighter rug so that I can lighten it up for the season so I'm gonna put this rug away in storage and bring out a lighter one which I'll show later in the video so now I'm just vacuuming everything really well, getting up all of those crumbs that were left from the cleaning the counters and the island. I use this cordless vacuum cleaner all the time. It's so perfect for just quick cleanups. And I just love that you don't have all the cords that you've got to pull around. And so it just makes for easy cleanup. I got this last year, I think, and I have used it so much since then. It's just an easy little cleaning tool that I like to have around and so I'm just going to give everything a really good vacuum and get up all those crumbs and just have everything nice and sparkling so that I can mop and I love this little mop system that you can wring out the mop so that everything's not sopping wet and I just clean with a little bit of Dawn dish soap and warm water and make sure that everything is nice and clean before I put down my new spring rug which it's not really a new rug I've had it for a while and I just change it out with the seasons I decided to change it out by wooden riser and put this marble riser here instead it just kind of lightens the space up a little bit more and I'm using this green planner as my utensil holder. That's a good budget-friendly tip that I can give you is if you can't find a utensil holder that you like, you can always use a planner. I got this one from Hobby Lobby and I love the green color and the little raised dots on it. But it's perfect for holding all of my utensils over here by the stove. I add back my salt and pepper shakers. I just love having these by the stove. And then I found this cutest pig at the thrift store and I just put toothpicks for him to hold and he just makes me smile every time I see him. And then I just add my measuring spoons back that I keep in a small ironstone pitcher. I like to add a dish towel on our oven door to bring in more color and I also like to change these out with the seasons but I looked in my stash and this is the closest I had to a spring dish towel so Next time I'm out shopping, I need to look for more. Now I'm gonna decorate the island for spring. I love to decorate this little spot, so I'm starting with a wooden riser. And then recently I found this bunny at Ross. And Ross is not a store that I shop at very often, but I had a little extra time. And so I ran in and found this cute bunny. I'm just gonna tie this neutral colored ribbon around her neck. I found this ribbon at Hobby Lobby. And I think that it looks so pretty with the white bunny and then the off-whites I have throughout this kitchen. I'm just going to straighten it up a little bit and I think that's all she needs. Just to dress her up a little bit, add a little bit of depth to her and just this neutral colored bow. Next to the bunny, I'm going to add this little Easter tree that I made just using twigs from the yard and some moss. And my daughter crocheted these beautiful eggs for me. And so I'm going to use them on this tree. My daughter loves to crochet and she just made these for me and put the ribbon on top so that we could hook them onto the tree. So I'm going to put them out so that we can see them and she can see them and it will encourage her hobby of crocheting. And so I just hang them on these trees. I think the colors are beautiful for the kitchen. And I think they look beautiful on this little simple tree. If you don't have crocheted eggs and you want to do this with an Easter tree, you could also decoupage some eggs. I have a whole video on decoupaging eggs that I made last year for spring. And I'll link it for you in case you want to check it out and make some of your own. You could also pick up some eggs and just tie a ribbon on top and hang them on your tree. Now that the kitchen is all clean and tidy, it's time to start a load of laundry. And as a family of four, we have a ton of laundry. So I try to do at least two loads a day. Most of the time I end up doing more than that. I feel like if I get at least two loads done that I'm ahead of the game. 
but let's face it, we've got laundry going around here all the time. And I would like to know in the comments, do you mind doing laundry? Is it one of the dreaded chores? With me, I don't mind doing laundry at all. I just put a load on and let it wash. And while it's washing, I go and take care of other chores around the house. So let me know in the comments if you like doing laundry or if it's one of those dreaded things. So a little behind the scenes of what we do in between tasks. And that is one of my most important jobs and that's homeschooling our daughter. So we homeschooled both of our girls and it was one of the best decisions that my husband and I ever made. We just started it and never looked back. And I don't have any actual footage of us doing school. I feel like it's a time for us to bond and for us to discover her strengths and to celebrate her breakthroughs and those aha moments. But I just enjoy it so much. It's been one of the hardest things I've ever done, but it's also been one of the most rewarding things. So the next thing on this day was we had several errands to run and one of the things I do after getting all my errands done is I run into the thrift store and see what they have. I'm currently working on a plate wall and so I just ran in real quick on this day to see if I could find any pretty plates. I have found several and I need a few more to complete my wall. And I just love hanging plates above pictures just to add a little pop of color. And you can find them at the thrift store for hardly any money at all. But on this day, I didn't find anything, which is unusual for me when I'm thrifting. I usually find at least one thing. But that's the thing about thrifting. Sometimes you go in and you find a lot. And sometimes you go in and you don't find very much. So... It's always good to go often just to see what they have. I have a few thrifting videos that I've shared and in some of them I thrift and then I style the items in my home. So if you're interested in that I'll link some below and just to show you what I look for and how I style them. So I'll be doing more of that. I love to thrift and I love to share it and show you how I style it and I also like to hear from y'all how y'all style it or if there's anything in these videos that you would have picked up sometimes I miss things and then when I look back at the video I um, see it and should have got that but this day was not a good thrifting day but we'll go again and hopefully we'll find some good stuff
Now that we're back home, it is time to start supper, and I am cooking one of our favorite meals. It's called stuffed shells, and we usually have this about once a week because we love it so much. I'll share the recipe in a future video for you. I know that you're going to love it, and it's a pretty easy meal to put together. Be on the lookout for that. This is what it ends up looking like before we dig into it. And I always serve it with garlic toast and a salad. It is so yummy and I'll share the recipe soon. Well friends, that about wraps up this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm so glad you decided to come along with us and spend a day in the life. It was so much fun. We got some tasks completed and had some fun along the way. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.